No, please do not die already. Game. There we go. Jeez, that's gonna be over. Alright. I think. Yeah, that looks better. Alright. I think I fixed it yet. I think I made it look nicer. Back to Let's see. Um. Yeah, thank you for telling me this. I've played this game before. But still. No, it still looks like it's weird. I don't know. I tried. But I guess it's not as bad as it was. Whatever, just suffer through it. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, fine. I won't collect that. You know what? It's happening. Yep. So, oh no, it shut up for a split second. Where was it? Just <laughs> oh my god, it's so finicky about that stuff. stuck in like all the plants. Yeah, I know what I mean. <sighs> Let's see. Can I please have this? Oh, okay. There we go. There was a third one that blew up, right? Shit. First thing I'm building, uh, besides the knife, is OT day. I am already tired of this. Silicone rubber and titanium. Uh, silicone rubber is tree plant seeds. Okay. Oh, it looks like it smoothed out a bit. The gameplay for you guys. That's nice. As long as it doesn't look super terrible. <laughs> Oh, 
I mean, at the same time, what you shouldn't expect much from me anyway. My streams are garbage. Good garbage, but still garbage. And I use a laptop to play the game and also stream. Which is probably a terrible idea, but it's worked so far. And I don't have a desktop nor money to build one, so... I work with what I got. Uh, okay. I need more titanium. Wait, okay. Scrap metal. Usually there's like a bunch of it just lying around. Here we go. Can't get rid of those. Uh, oh, I have a bunch of storage space left. Audio looks like it's okay. I might turn the game up a little bit. Yep, oh, yep, oh, there we go. Should be good. We'll see. I'm looking for scrap metal and I don't. Oh, I was gonna say, I don't see any. But no, it's just I'm not looking hard enough. What drug is the game for you guys? Still. Actually, it looks lighter than what I'm flying through. Which I guess it's good. Yeah. Yeah, this game, even when it gets like dark in game, isn't usually too bad, so. I don't think that'll be an issue. Yeah, uh, getting back into streaming. I think the last time I streamed was a couple months ago. But I've been busy with college classes. And now I'm done with this semester, so I can stream more again. Just nice. Thought I'd uh, play a game that I have been playing and enjoying in my spare time. Maybe then I'll go back to. doing series because I was um actually there are a couple games that we're playing through that I never finished playing through on stream do I have enough quartz to make glass? Two things of glass? No? Damn it. <laughs> Alright, I'll do that uh, next then. But I want to make a knife. I'm gonna make a sort of hair tool. Oh, and I can still make fence. Sweet. Uh, need a battery. Oh, there we go.
All right, no one's watching, but uh, just in case someone shows up, give me a second. I'm going to put a sweatshirt on. It's cold in my room. All right, I'm back. Yeah, it was either you put like a sweatshirt and some sweatpants on and use the blanket or turn on the heater, which the little space heater I have in my room, which I don't know if you guys would hear that or not, but I guess it's best to like not turn it on in case you guys do hear it because that'd be kind of annoying just constantly hearing it in the background. So, what turn it is. Uh, Alright, back to the game. Uh, yeah, because I have a feeling you guys already hear, like. Why is the desktop? Alright, there we go. It's like, why is the desktop audio not playing? But it is. Yeah, because I feel like you guys probably already hear um, the cooling pad I use for my laptop. Alright, so I made flints, a tank, got these. Um, I need one more glass, so I need to go get quartz. But I was well collect some other stuff while I'm out here too. And scan things. And I guess collect creature eggs. For way later when we start building a... Well I always build like super massive like bases. I build one like giant ass base that I put like everything in. And then in like certain locations I build smaller bases. Just so I can like have a safe spot to hide out in, and like if I need to build things, there's a place to do that. But yeah, mainly when I make my first base, that's the largest one. And it's also the one where I start <laughs> building like a bunch of like aquariums <laughs> to store like all of the animals, all the fish. like and most of the time it doesn't even serve a purpose it's just there to be pretty look at them all <laughs> um, all right. I'm gonna need these to make batteries so I might as well take a couple with me
you're so fast. Come back. There we go. Um, scanned you guys. Eh, no. Alright, there we go. Uh, what else did I need? Quartz. That's right. So I can make some glass. So I can make a bigger oxygen tank. Nope. No. <sighs> Should have known that would happen. I don't even know where it came from. Here it is. Okay. Alright, I think I should have what I need to make the OT tank at least. I don't know about the other stuff. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna have to unequip you. And then build this one. Great, then uh, what else? I already have fins. We have the scanner, the repair tool, and the knife. Uh, maybe make a flashlight? Which means I need more glass. Which means I need more quartz. Ah, uh, I forgot how slow this game starts out. <laughs> so tedious at the beginning. Um... I'll store some of this. Nope. Not that. These. The gold. I guess these. Alright. So, quartz. Nope. <laughs> I mean, that worries someone in the knife, but whatever. Um. Oh, I never skinned you guys! Right there. Skinned you. Um. This is a cave, right? Yeah, sort of. Okay, but I'm in low on health, so I have to be careful. If there's any of those crasher things in here, I'm dead. So I gotta look. There are a lot of these creature eggs, though. I don't think I've ever found any of these before. These ones. Thank you, PDA, for telling me that. You're so optimistic about my survival chances. Alright, that should be enough quartz for now. I need to build a flashlight. Um, maybe build the habitat builder. I have to find a good spot to build my base, though. I kind of generally, when I build my first first base, do it 
kind of where like two or three of the like different biomes intersect kind of meet so that way it's easier to get resources oh there's a rebreather Ooh, you weren't good let me make a flashlight all right so now i need wiring kit computer chip battery okay two wiring kits a computer chip, a battery, and some fiber mesh. More kids. So, I need four silver ore. I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna remember all those. <laughs> I'm so bad with like remembering what resources I need. I need to like write this stuff down. Uh. Good thing I keep like a bunch of random ass notebooks on my desk at all times. Let's see. What do I want to make? I want to make a habitat builder. I need a wiring kit. You know what? Yeah, no, I'm not gonna write it down. That takes even longer. To it's like more time wasted. So I just remember I need silver, table coral, gold, and copper when I go back out there. And then I should be fine. Silver, table coral, gold, and copper. Okay, well, here's some table coral. back here. How much is that? Five? I'll get one more. Okay, now I need silver, gold, and copper. Oh, is this a blood grass zone? It is. Right, this usually has um, a lot of stuff in it. Pick up creature eggs every time I come across them. Because I'm going to want to collect them later on in the game anyway, so might as well start now. Why not? Oh, this is the sea moth fragment. Yep. I think you need three? Yeah. Alright, that shouldn't be too hard. Was it people who were complaining? Yeah, people were complaining that the um, the recent updates for this game made it easier. It's still tedious. Still takes forever to get through it to make any progress and collect shit. I mean, <laughs> so yeah, I don't care that it's easier. I actually, it actually makes me happy. Makes my life easier. And you still, like, have a shit ton of ta chances of dying, so, you know. <sighs> People. Um. Alright, I was looking for silver, copper, ore, and gold. Oh, that's a. Um... No, oh, he left. I was gonna say scan the sand sharks and the biters to keep swimming away. I keep losing them. I just I want to scan you. Stop being a dick. Got it. God oh, damn it. A med kit? No. Did I use it? Probably. <laughs> I probably used it. Alright. 
me to find another biter. And, uh, it's your turn. There's one. Come here so I can scan you. Okay, there. Need sand sharks? Gold and copper and silver, right? There we go. He yeah, still got a bit of room. Uh -oh. Any more outcrops along here? Maybe this way. I don't think my life pod's moving. They said they fixed that in the recent um, update. They fixed the life pod drifting away from you, from its original spawn point. Which, I mean, technically it drifting away would be realistic, but at the same time, uh, not a great thing to have happen in this game because generally the direction it drifts ends up being where all the super dangerous sea creatures are. And if you haven't like built a base and like or collected your loot from it, it's like Yeah, you're screwed. <laughs> yeah, let's go see this uh let's gain a sand shark. So crazy. So crazy. There we go. Oh, there's um, a wreck over here. Now, I've always acquired this blueprint, but I've never uh, built the grab trap, so maybe I'll do that this time. I'll try uh, to build, I guess, everything at least once. Anything else? Counter. Okay. Oh, the sea glide. We'll see if I actually get to build that before the sea moth for once. Because usually I end up building like the tiny submarine before I ever get to build the sea glide. There we go. Um. All right. Head back. I know I still need uh, materials, but uh, hmm. how much room do I have? Six.
Alright, I'll try to get, like, some more resources and then head back. What's this? Seabelt? Are you Seabelt as well? You are. Alright, swim to the surface. Room three. Okay. One. I really need gold. I think I've only found like what? One. Yeah, I've only found one gold. It keeps telling me to cut the creep vine, but I've already done that. So. I don't know why that prompt is still there. Oh, shit. Stuck or no? Alright, but it's yelling at me about being low in water, so well. I think I have room for one more. Uh, yeah, but I'm collecting the bladder fish because you can turn them into water for some reason. Uh, 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 I'm not gonna question that. <laughs> H2O six ounces filtering filtered using a natural membrane, non vegetarian. <laughs> non vegetarian water. <laughs> oh man. Uh, store all the creature eggs I've obtained so far. I need to find another one of those little blue ones. I like to collect two of each. I need copper wire. I need, I think, two of you. Just some more, more silver ore. More gold. I can make a ruby there, though. Oh, thank you. Um. So I still need a wiring kit, which means I need one more silver hour. and then I should be good. All right. I don't think there's any other equipment I want to make. Yeah. Well, well, no, the sea glide lubricant. Oh. <laughs> Tried to hit some lead, so that works. I need a wine kit and a battery. So I need copper ore, two acid mushrooms. And silver. Wait, 
Which way was the... Bloodgrass? I don't even know if it's still called the Bloodgrass Zone. Or Bloodgrass Biome. I don't know. Because that's what it was originally called. But they've changed the name of some things. Like some of the plants have different names and stuff like that, so... I don't know if things are still called... <coughs> what they used to be. Oh, excuse me. I have allergies. <laughs> me sneezing and it's not gonna stop anytime soon. I try my best to hold them in. <laughs> Happen. I need four. No, please. Oh, no. Thank <coughs> you. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> oh, well. Do you have anything? Well, on you. Ow, ow, you. I hate those plants. Alright. Uh, give me a second. I gotta wipe my nose. Ugh. I'm dying. My eyes watering. Ugh. I hate allergies. I took medication this morning. I shouldn't be like this. <laughs> Um, alright, I don't see anything else on you. I'll check the other ones. Maybe they have stuff. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Get them with flying. I need silver ore. Alright, you're starting to kind of leave the blood grass zone, so I need to go back. Alright, did I already get the sea moth? What the heck? I hate that I kind of have to be constantly moving. Or that thing's gonna attack you when you have that many open anyway. Okay, I got the some off blueprint, so I don't need to scan fragments anymore. If you have a blueprint and you scan fragments for it, like afterwards, um, you just get titanium. So I don't need titanium right now, so there's no point in scanning it. Gold. I need silver. Oh, there's a life pot over here. Um, what's this, 17? Alright, I'm gonna take your PDA.
did not want me to scan? The lead? Or is this something else? I think it was the lead. There, silver. Oh, this cave. Oh, I know what biome this goes to, actually. This is, um... The... Mushroom caves. Right. Red. Uh, I'm really not going to find any more silver or laser cutter fragment. One of three. So I should probably start uh, checking those boxes then. Cause I always see them around, but I never like think to see if they have an opening to like look inside them. <laughs> Unless they're near um, ruins, but that one wasn't near like a huge wreck or anything. It was just kind of out by itself. That one doesn't have anything in it. Ow! See, I need the laser cutter to get in there. See if they do anything here yet. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna go back to base uh, before I dying lose stuff or something yeah when you die in the game it just spawns you back on it <sighs> whatever base you're using so either the life pod or if you've made a base to your base that you last entered and then if you had like materials and stuff you'd lose a few of them you never lose the tools just like a if you have like titanium or copper and stuff like that in there, you lose that stuff. Like a couple pieces. I think it's like three? It might be more than that, I'm not sure. So yeah, along with the like the most recent ups update that came out this month was they updated graphics and gave you more graphic options, but they also added more voice acting. So now like the life pods have like voice acting. And it's just like it's so nice. I love it. It makes me so happy. I'm like <laughs> such a simple person. I just like voice acting. <laughs> Cause actually the voice acting in this game is very well done. Uh, um, what am I trying to build? The habitat builder? Great. I think that's the only thing I need. 
out of tools that I found. Cause yeah, I don't have the stuff for the laser cutter yet. No, <laughs> guess you're so mean to me. <laughs> bad streamer's bad. I know I'm bad. Leave me alone. I'm trying. <laughs> Doing the best with what I got, which is a laptop <laughs> and a crappy headset. Okay, guys. Oh, I'm dying. I need food. I need water. <laughs> Jeez. Come on, give me a second. What does it mean? Wait, what did I pick up? Uh, butterfish. That's what I need. I'm gonna mute. Okay. Oh wait, no, that's my health. I was like, when did food go up? <laughs> God, I didn't even pay attention. Um, let's see. So I have the habitat builder, which means I can build a base. I think all I need left is the laser cutter that I need to find fragments for. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. That's Life Pod 17. I've already been there, so I'm going to unmark that I already found your life pod and you weren't there which probably means you're dead uh, let's see I just I want all of these to go away can you please go away <laughs> I hate seeing the like numbers next to the information it bugs me They dead. Everyone's dead. Actually, speaking of that, I picked up his PDA while I was there. Where is that? This one. Seventeen. Ozzy's lost. The day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared and I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. And this weird looking cave nearby. Laura was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero-G gym. My cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. Don't know why no one's coming for me. Yeah, he's probably dead. Alright, yep. Now the wrecks around are from the Aurora. Uh, blueprints for stuff. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora drive core has reached critical state. Pointing detonation will occur within three hours. Oh, that's great to hear. See moth. Uh, oh, I'm from about the planet. 
Category 3, Ocean Planet, Oxygen, Nitrogen, Atmosphere, Extensive Biodiversity. May support Leviathan class predators. Great. Water contaminated with high levels of foreign bacteria. Planet is beyond Federation space. Rescue unlikely. <laughs> no. So we're stuck here probably forever. Great. I need more fish so I can make more water. And should probably get something to eat. Should also probably go check out this life pod. One. Need a couple of you. farther away than I thought it was going to be. No, I think it should be fine. I think I can make it back to my life pod. Without dying of thirst. <laughs> So this is Life Pod 3, uh, get rid of your signal. I already have the sea glide, so I don't need to scan that. Take this. Uh, scan you? Yeah. Back here. There we go. Nope. Yep. Nope. Okay. Good. Takes so long to get places <laughs> at the beginning of this game. I'm like water first. Here we go. 
that. This is life pod six. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Okay. Okay, so those are all gone. Get rid of all these. There we go. Uh, organism with swine signs. Unknown bacterial infection. Clusters are bright green, forming networks around infection sites. Pathology suggests a waterborne bacterium capable of penetrating the body through the skin. Underlying indications of minor genetic mutation and aggressive behavior. Warning may be contagious. Avoid. Do not, under any circumstances, consume the flesh. Alright, nice to know. Oh, this is what happened in Life Pod 3. Maths. Oh man, I love it. I love the voice acting. Uh, all right, stuff about the coral stalkers. All right, I just want to get rid of all the question marks or exclamation points. They're not question marks. Oh my god. Oh, they do have beaks. Huh. Oh, it's weird. You know, I kinda like the PDA entries. They tell you information you don't really pay attention to or think about. You have, yeah, they have teeth. They look weird. I don't like it. <laughs> Seeing some of these up close, it's like, eh, I don't like it. Be right back, okay. Scavenger. Nope. Indigenous life forms. Flora, that's what I wanted. Exploitable. Uh huh. Yep. Great. And have C. I'm a luminescent plant which grows in patches on the seabed. Why doesn't this one get a picture? Alright. Uh, okay, I'm gonna find one by vehicle bay fragments and beacon fragments. Um. That's about it. Alright, because I have. Habitat Builder. Alright, I need to go start collecting stuff for building habitats. So. More titanium and more lead.
copper. Um, hmm. Any scrap metal? Nope. This is copper, which I actually need. Get back here. Yeah, get out of here! Jeez. I don't know if there's supposed to be a type of shark. Um, me and my friends just considered the stalkers really angry dolphins. Because for the most part, um, they back off if you hit them. Like even once, and they kind of just spend their time collecting metal and chilling out. <laughs> They're kind of, you know, less aggressive than sharks. Why do we have a cook ray fragment? Okay, I need two more bows. Um Yeah, yeah. Keep telling me I cut this once already. Here, I'm gonna do it again. Why is the prompt still there? Go away. I guess the prompt's never gonna go away. I'm new for the front radiation suit. Alright, my legs are starting to hurt. I need to find a new way to sit in my chair. Give me a second. Uh. <sighs> Alright, there we go. <laughs> um. Alright, I'm starting to find mud. This is uh, titanium. Titanium inventory full. Ah, fine. I'll go back to the life pod. And I also think, um, yeah, the prompt to cut things is not gonna disappear. So, I don't know. Just live with it, I guess. You see that it started to refill my oxygen, even though I wasn't even in the life pod yet. Pretty sure that was a glitch. Need fiber mesh. Oh. Convenient. Very much too. I need one more creep line sample then. Uh, where are the creep lines? There's some over here. Radio message. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Still nothing. These are all terror ships. They run out of engine trees. They send an SOS. Offer to help. <laughs> Aurora, I'm out on the 
far inside of the system, it's going to take more than a week to reach your position. You still need our assistance. Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. See what the long range scan picks up in the meantime? The enemy charger is going to have us wasting our profit margins running errands for Altera. He's so salty about it. <laughs> I don't know, I guess I would be too. I'll, the Altera company sounds like one of those dickhead mega corporations. Uh, it makes me think of Alien. Wayland Yutani, right? Wasn't that the corporation in Alien that's always like, no, no, we can't kill the Xenomorph. The Xenomorph, we need that for stuff and things. And then everyone always dies. And it's just like, Every movie, though, Will and Yutani's like, no, no, don't kill the alien. We need it. <laughs> it's like, uh, it never gets old. <laughs> Alright, I got a new, what is it, blueprint for, we're at radiation soon. Yeah, equip it. I think I did. No, I didn't. I didn't make it yet. <laughs> there we go. Now I equipped it, except for the helmet. Because I have the rebreather on. So I'll switch it out. Um, store some stuff. Store the Tabor Coral. Or the copper and the quartz. I need more lead. What? And, uh, wait. Hold on. Bring out you for base. Yeah, I need lead and then quartz. Okay. Let's so actually just turn it off. But wait, I don't think I can build a base yet. Yeah, I have to go figure out what the multi-purpose room is. Which means visiting one of the islands. And scanning that. Um, I also need to... Make some more batteries to carry around with me. So I can recharge my equipment. I'm not gonna have the radiation helmet on until I go to the other ship. Uh, I need to find fragments for the laser cutter and fragments for the mobile vehicle bay. I don't want to go there yet. I don't have a laser cutter, so I can't go in here. This is just another entrance. No. Okay, you don't have anything in you. Already have the seam off. Blueprint. Um, right, so there's nothing else I think I can do over here. Nope. Okay. Maybe I'll check over by the life pod over here then. 
which means uh, yeah, putting this on. Because I think they said there was radiation near them. We're gonna go back to my lip, lip pod uh, first of all. I need to make some water. Sea moth fragment. Nope. Sea glide. Sea glide. You need laser cutter. <laughs> We're even over here, I think. Where'd it go? Nope. Oh, there it is. Nope. There we go. Now, apparently, I also make water out of bleach. That's 12 ounces. What do you need for bleach? Yeah, I know. Salt and coral tube. Don't worry about the layer. I'm gonna save real quick. Okay, there we go. Let's go check out this life pod over here. Fragments. Two more. Uh, nothing in there. That one doesn't have an opening. Over here. Nope. Two more. Or sea glide. Alright. Then. So later, laser cutter? Yes. I only need one more. Yes. Can't keep looking for boxes like that. And a uh, sand shark appears to be stuck. <laughs> They try so hard to eat you, and it never works out for them. Okay, and then there's like pod six. Take 
PDA. Do you have flares in here? Just see if there's any more wrecks. Do you have something in you? <gasps> yes. What the heck, game? Don't give me the like. It's like, fine, don't give me a, the badass music slash noise you always play whenever I get a new blueprint. Whatever. Fine. Be that way. What do I need for the last guy? Diamond and cave silver? I know where to get diamond. It's just um, a matter of finding that biome. I don't know which direction it's in, so. You can generally find it in um, floating isle, the floating islands or the deep sea start starting areas. Well, it's like the floating islands are like the floating rocks. But the floating rocks leads to the deep sea. Or deep reef. So I just gotta figure out um, which direction those things would be in. Okay, right now. It's either over that way or this way. I kind of want to go upstairs and get cookies and milk because no one's watching my stream right now so I kind of want to go get food but like getting food at this point always runs the risk of like someone showing up I guess I'm sitting here fuck it I'm gonna do it I'll be back if anyone shows up uh please don't leave right away please give me a chance Alright, I'm back. Uh, I've kind of reached the point in my streaming life 
where I get like two or three people max, you know. So when there's no one here, I kind of just say fuck it and do whatever. So since there's no one here, I'm saying fuck it and I'm eating. So all you people on YouTube, because I upload my streams to YouTube. If you make it this far in the video, I'm sorry, but not really. Oh, someone else came. Oops. <sighs> All right, where's the deep sea at? This is the blood grass. Um. Let's see. See, either that way or that way. We'll try this way. He showed up and then immediately left again. I love it when people give you the chance. Oh, this is a mushroom forest. Well, hmm. You might have diamond here. Which room do I have? A bunch? I'm gonna take this. Thank you. I need diamond. I don't see any. Lithium. Pulse real quick. Um, drink some milk. Take my medication. I'm so professional. Whatever. If I ever reach the point where I get more than like three people. I'll get my act together. But until then, I'm gonna say fuck it. And kind of just stream however. Maybe one day I'll sit down and I'll try to make my channel look nicer. Create some form of screen to pull up when I'm like going away to go to the bathroom or something or like switching from the game to um, looking at discord or some other menu work on using OBS properly and efficiently you know trying to get to a professional level or standing I mean, but, yeah, until that happens, I'm just, you know, gonna keep doing my best, sort of. I mean, I actually have people who follow me, so I must be doing at least some things, right? I don't think I cooked these cookies long enough. They're still kind of um, doughy. But then I'm gonna kind of like doughy cookies. I'd rather have them be slightly doughy than have the bottoms of them be burnt. Let's be honest. Because burnt cookies are gross. <laughs> Mm 
I think I, yeah, I can skin you guys. Alright, um... Skinny while I'm here, too. I don't think there's diamond here, so I'm gonna go this way. The mushroom... forest is this way. I'm guessing deep sea might be this way. I don't know. They're generally all kind of uh, near each other. It's just a matter of uh, finding them. It'd make my life easier if I had the um, beacon blueprint and I could make beacons. I mean, technically, I can make beacons right now because I have console commands. Like, I have the console activated, so I could be typing in console commands, but I'm trying my best to play through as much as possible without cheating. So, I'll wait a while before you use the consoles. But yeah, if I had the um, beacons, I could put up a beacon and be like, hey, the sea area, the deep sea, is over here. And then I'd be able to find it again easier. Oh! Flo the floating islands. Okay, so that wasn't... yeah, that's not too bad. Got bone sharks. Who are always angry. So angry. You're my favorite. I love you. Don't be mad at me. I like your design. You're cute. Cool to look at. So I think there should be diamond here. I should probably go upstairs. <laughs> go upstairs. <laughs> Surface. <laughs> Get oxygen. I am losing my goddamn mind. It's like a day after I got done with finals at college, so I blame it on that. That bone shark launched me out of the water and into the air. I blame it on finals. Which hopefully didn't fail any of my finals. I don't think it did. But we'll see. I really don't want to have to retake a class. Like ever. I think the only final I was worried about was my graphic design through class. We had to make a website. And then like our final was giving a 10 minute presentation on it and stuff like that. And I thought mine didn't look that great because I struggled with using Dreamweaver Bootstrap and then like switching to Adobe Muse. But uh, I don't know, I saw some other kids in my class present and their website were websites were like equally as terrible as mine. So I guess I did good. Because I don't have to worry <laughs> as much. So, yeah. And then our teacher. Our professor also gave us the opportunity to like, she gave input on our websites and then it's like, here are some things you could change, blah blah blah. So she gave us the opportunity to like resubmit them. Like the changes and stuff. So I made changes to everything she said to change and resubmitted it. So I hope I did good. <laughs> Cause she made our final for 2000 points. <laughs> Because technically we only had one project and that was making that website. I 
just, I need diamond. That's all I need. That's all I want. I might start cheating here, guys. Not to, like, spawn materials. Just, uh, I'll keep looking for the loot. Ooh, the diamonds over here. I don't have water. That's what I'm thinking about cheating in, is some water. I'm gonna drop some of this titanium. I don't care anymore. You guys... Like, let's be honest here, guys. You don't want to see me collecting resources for 90% of this game. You guys probably want to see the different biomes, the different, like, creatures, and then also the plot and storyline that you can access so far in the game. Because the game's, in, as you can see in the upper right corner, the game's in early access. It's not yet complete. There's no ending yet. So, yeah. You guys probably want to see me get the storyline as far as it can go. Over. I need diamond. Oh, what was that? What is that? What is, what is this? What is happening? I don't know. Where's the building? Right there? Okay. Oh, it's so dark. Dark and spooky. There's a cave over here. Is that all that was in here? Um, that uh, growling noise sounds like Leviathan. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't want to save in case I die. Yeah, that sounds like Leviathan. I hope you guys can hear that. I think I turned the desktop up loud enough. If I have to, I'll turn it up more. Be right back, my ass. <laughs> okay, anyway. Magnetite, take you. <gasps> Warpers! Hey, I'm gonna see you, okay? Please don't attack me or disappear. You disappeared. Full. I'm gonna get rid of all the titanium. Titanium's easy to come by. But I need more space to carry shit right now. 
I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna make a save right here, and this will be like if I stream for a really long ass time, that'll be the break point. Or like when I upload to YouTube or whatever, blah blah blah. I don't wanna. Well, I'll come up here for air, but I don't wanna be in here yet. Alright. Still trying to find a diamond. I'll pause real quick again, because I have disease. <laughs> Excuse me. <sighs> Ugh. I hate sneezing. I still feel like I have to sneeze. <coughs> Half sneeze, I guess. It sounded really close. Well, not really close, but it sounded close. Oh, yeah, there he is. Oh, is it? Nope. Yep. Is he glitching through the fucking mountain again? You fucking cheater. Holy shit. You guys saw that, right? That's some bullshit. I um, don't know how close he is. Kind of like fucking rocketed in space. Uh, go back this way. Uh, I swimmed down too far. Alright, I'm gonna stick to this side of the base. Because I'm less likely to get eaten by a leviathan. I'm also gonna go on land, where I'm also less likely to get eaten by a leviathan. I'll check that out later. Let's uh walk around for a bit. Why not? Oh, what? I'm just gonna take it. Oh, can I scan you? I can. No, come back. <laughs> you have to be so close to stuff when you scan it. Uh, it makes it difficult. Especially when the 
stuff you're trying to scan moves. Ah, I probably spelled something wrong. It might also be labeled with something else. Here we go. Oh, shit. Damn it. <laughs> I had the opportunity to get away. I'm gonna turn off the uh, beacon tree the life pod real quick. I'll turn it back on when we get ready to leave. Oh, diamond! Hear that, guys? I own, I own money for collecting resources. Ow, you fucker! Get over here! I'm gonna stab your ass! Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> I'll have an iron cube. Let's do a self scan. Nope. Real quick. Okay. Uh, so this is one of those alien gates. And it wants me to insert an item cube, but I don't have any of those. So let's go back down the mountain. I don't know where I'm going. Uh, should we jump? I'm gonna save. Yeah. Hit the water, hit the water! Oh. <laughs> uh, unnecessary risk. Over here? No, I think the way out's over there. Okay. I don't want to go down there. <laughs> So I could go in there right now. Uh, but I kind of want to save it for later. Because we have to come back here for um, plot reasons. So I think I'm just going to leave.
hope the Leviathan doesn't show up and try to eat me. Oh, Warper! I'm gonna I'm gonna scan you. Hey, can I scan you? Ow! You jerk! No, no! I scared you, and I'm leaving. You're so mean. You're so mean. He's still after me. I feel like he is. I'm gonna keep going. Okay, and that noise is the um, reef back, so. Yeah. After a while, you learn to differentiate what creatures make what sounds, so you know. Oh, that's the sound of the life then. I should be scared of that. Or, oh, that's the sound of the reef back. I have nothing to worry about. Check this out. Oh, be good, fragment. Need that. I can't. I need laser cutter. Which hopefully I've collected enough stuff to make. Uh, we'll see. But then again, I'll also have to remember uh, which way I was coming from to go find that again. So yeah. How long have I been streaming for? Like two hours? I'll go for four, so. 10 p.m. my time. I'll stop. Probably. And it depends on if people show up and if they stay here for longer than 10 seconds. And if they're actually interested. I need a med kit. Thank you. The roar of it's sunbeam again. We just picked up a map of the debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad, uh, how many of. I didn't know. We're now on route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. Oh, I love that. Where it's like, <laughs> they think the radio is off. They're still talking. Our pirate list <laughs> attempted a planet landing and they can't do a simulator. Like, just that line. It's like, yep, I'm screwed. <laughs> I'm not getting off of this planet alive, am I? <laughs> Laser cutter. Yes. Um, what else? Beacon! Some more titanium in here. Yes. I'm gonna make two beacons. Uh, deployables, right? Yep, beacon. Yeah. 
Okay, so I need to find mobile vehicle bay fragments. All right. Come on. Hold on. I'm gonna go get some more titanium real quick. I think I'll make a little um deployable locker. So I need to find either scrap metal or um, an outcrop. Here we go. Scrap metal. There we go. Do I have copper ore? I think I did, right? No, I used it. Damn it. I was gonna make um the grab pole thing, because I've never made that before. Name locker stuff. Yep, there we go. Uh I should make another locker. Um, oh, I can scan this to get titanium. But I also want to find some copper if I can, real quick. Yeah. Those are not crops. Um, all right. Yeah, that's not creepy. <laughs> uh, I'll stick another. We'll stick this locker right next to this one. Put you in here. somewhere. Um, let's stick you right here. Why not? Oh, you just straight up pulled things near you. Including fish. Interesting. Huh. But you also pull it. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> I've never used this before, so I wasn't sh sure like exactly how it worked, but uh... I'll put it down here. It's still gonna attract like fish and stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Fish. Um, 
hold on, give me a second. Uh, sorry. I have a list of like what creatures and plants belong to what biomes. So I was reading on whole fish because apparently that's one of the creatures I forgot to list. Uh, razor cutter for. Oh. Yep, so uh, that's there now. Where am I? Oh, shit, I'm getting all lost. Okay, you're there. Store stuff in the lockers. Um, I need food and water real quick. Actually, where I'm going, I can get it pretty easily. And so. Alright, I'm gonna head to the Aurora now, which is this over here. Wait, um, before you get. Take this. Alright, now I'm gonna head to the Aurora. Uh, <laughs> for safe. Yeah, I'm gonna head over here, uh, check out the wreck, hopefully get all the stuff that's inside of it that you can collect, and then, uh, yeah, be done with at least that part of the game. I think we'll have to come back later on. I don't 100% remember. Okay, uh, let's see. New blueprint acquired. Well, skiing some stuff. New blueprint acquired. Anything in here? No. Oh, there's something in this one. Uh. Sea glide, I already have that. Um, yeah, okay. Surface again, so I can see where I am. Anything to scan. Cheer. New blueprint acquired. Uh, anything else? Is there a way in here? Doesn't look like it. I don't see anything on this side. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, there is. Repair tool. Let's see what's in here. Sea light fragment. Is that it? Okay, there's a vent right there. I'll try going through that, but I want to get some oxygen first. Alright, um... Or 
there's a vent over here. Yeah, uh, huh. doesn't look like there's anything in here. At least not that I don't already have. Yeah. All right. Uh, back out again. Yeah, exploring like wrecks and stuff underwater is really disorienting. In this game. Which I guess is, um, correct, right? Like, doing anything underwater is just warranted in aid. In real life, right? I mean, I want to know. I've never been in the ocean before, so. I've never been diving or anything, so. Someone will have to let me know in the comments or whatever. I could scan something. What was it? Wasn't you? I've scanned you guys before. No oh, medkit. Take that. Actually use it right now. Is it you? Yeah. Hoverfish. No. Okay, this crate's floating. I don't think it's supposed to be doing that. Whatever. Propulsion cannon. What do I have blueprint wise? Uh. I have the propulsion cannon. Okay. So, don't scan that. Oh, there's the stalker. I'm gonna go up right. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Keeping a lookout for something that might want to try to eat me. Where do I want to come up at? 
Um, it's farther out still. All right, here we go. And yeah, I've played this game before, so I know where to go, so. Should be able to get through this area relatively quick. No, I didn't mean to, but I wanted to get out the knife in case the cave crawlers come back, but they're not, so. But he was number five right now. You know, I'll, uh, I'll try to look at the PD data while we're here. So you know which PDs have what. I'll like, I'll clear out all the stuff first though, so that way we know which section uh, you think came to. Here's the life. Uh, no, that's only number two. We'll wait to do that one because there's two um, logs for that one. So I think this is the one we just picked out by that crate. Albert now. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Take a poster. Why not? Integrate the new PDA data. 
Alright, uh, note to self. So here we are, finally in open space. We cross the galaxy to install a phase gate, to send ships to mine resources, to build more expensive ships, install fancier phase gates. Okay. So, use birthday, 40 weeks before we get home. 400 weeks, it feels like, before we get home. Not enough credits. A terrorist paying me, and 1454 is the cargo bay code. Got it. Alright, so what's this one say? Um, I'm guessing it's a public document? Yeah. Okay, so this is talking about them getting ready to launch the Aurora, which is the ship that crashed, and then they were gonna build a phase gate. So, uh, yeah, I'll leave this up here for a little bit. You guys can read through it if you want. I'm not going to. <laughs> it's not important. It's basically just lore building. Which is nice, but I don't want to read right now. Alright, so I gotta um, jump over there. So I'll try to do this on the first try. Nope. It didn't like me pushing space. Didn't it? Uh, oh boy. We'll try that again. Okay, so shift. There we go. Okay, and again, I'll turn off the escape mode. Begin. And, um, let's get rid of the. these. All of these. Right away. Fauna. Cave crawlers, herbivores. Herbivores are kind of cute. They're edible, but they're use also used to make air gel. That's... Huh. Okay. That's weird. Crystalline other life forms, but no digestive organs have been identified. Alright, so we found all that. We'll clear out all this. Clear out the blueprints, hopefully. Wow, if I just waited a couple seconds, I could have had food. Like right there. Get 
anything to scan? Anything else to scan, I should say? No? Alright, going down, I guess. Alright, I'm gonna s Have I scanned you guys? No, I haven't. I'm gonna scan you. And then kill you, because you guys are annoying. And, uh... Drain health. Alright, and I already have the sea moth, so I don't need to scan that. I'll take um, the upgrade for it, though. I don't think there's anything else in here. Is there? No. Good. I think I'll go to the drive room last. Um. So that's kind of on my way back out. Unless there's a second way out. There's probably a second way out down this way. But I always go out the way I came in. When I board the Aurora. Okay, take a PDA. Auxiliary mission orders. Research and rescue crew of the Mongolian vessel Degasi. Oh! Oh my god. I never pieced two and two together. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Yeah, played this game before and it's like there was another ship that crashed here sometime before yours does called the Degasi. And you find like bases and like P their bases. And like PDAs from the crew members and stuff. But I never for some reason pieced two together that we are on our way to make the face gate. We're also stopping here to check to see if there were still Degasi survivors. Oh man, I'm done. Ascending of Planet 4546B, which is the one we're on. Ariadne arm? Ariadne? I don't know how you'd say that. Ariadne? Would you ignore the D or ignore the N? Contract with Gol Mongolian emissary Yoki Kasar or our passenger quarters. A Mongolian vessel, the Degasi, disappeared almost a decade ago, carrying with it a high ranking Mongolian chief. Corporate insurance has purchased passage aboard the Aurora for emissary Kasar, and your orders are to make every reasonable effort to locate and retrieve the Degasi crew members. Confirming the fate of the crew will aid Altera's diplomatic efforts with the Mongolian consuls. Okay. So that's why the ship's acquiring so many aquatic vehicles as well. Gotcha. Okay. It's another PDA. From Hunnans to Wilson. You're telling me you've been on this rig more than a year and you never took a ride on the outside. Well, now you've only got gone and got yourself refound with the keys to a giant freaking robot suit. Yeah. And then his. Okay, I'm not going to read all this. His code to this living quarter is just 1869. Mm -hmm. Close 
in the water over here. Ooh, the battery. Okay, I think that was all of them. Let's keep going. One more. Here we go. Oops. <laughs> Probably should have turned up the steam overlays. Oh, it actually doesn't. It looks like it didn't show up for you guys, so maybe it's fine. Uh, which one has one left? You. Drop you. Alright. The kitty cat poster. Right, there's a PDA over here. Integrate the new PDA system. This says PDA safe. Alright, today's menu. Starter space bear below? Is that how you say that? Below? I don't know. <laughs> Since their introduction to the interstellar vacuum in the 21st century, Microsoft had Tardigrades, or space bears, have adapted and flourished where no other life forms have survived. Condensed into a smooth, nutty, protein-rich soup, they are the freshest local ingredient available to travelers on long-haul space legs. Okay, main dish, cottage pie, or nutrient block. Rehydrated, rehydrated minced beef in its own gravy, served with the topping of mashed Chinese potato. Picked fresh this morning from onboard grow beds, and a side of sautéed Chinese potato plant leaves. For the time-conscious consumer, the usual nutrient block options are available. They may be consumed cold or reconstructed at the on-site fabricator. Dessert, dry fruit, and nuts. Unfortunately, a recent accident in Cargo Bay 3 involving the incorrect application of a repulsion cannon in combination with a modified battery charger, resulted in the venting into space of all dehydrated desserts. Fruit and nuts will be the only available desserts for the next 39 weeks. I would be so mad at that guy. Or girl. I'd be mad at whoever did it. I feel like, God damn it, my dessert. No. Alright, this is info about the prone suit. Suit is fully insulated from the outside environment. Powerful hydraulic limbs allow for manipulation of objects and powered traversal of the environment. Rear-mounted thruster provide maneuverability in low-gravity environments. Range modifications are available to facilitate resource extraction and enhance exploration. Cool. So, uh... There was one blue threat, the other one's gonna be the prone suit. Yep. Okay. There we go. So we got all of that stuff from in here. Excuse 
excuse me. Uh, one note quick, real quick. I'm gonna write something down. Take all the nutrient blocks, take everything. Why not? Inventory full. Uh, drink some of the water. I guess use this. Because my health is a little low. How many nutrient blocks do I have? Three? <sighs> take four. Why not? Until something better comes along, might as well stock up on uh, stuff. <laughs> we can always drop things. I actually kind of want the carry all, so I think I'm gonna. Take that. Okay, PDA. Okay. So this tells you about Altera Corporation. Fashionable model. Get what you deserve. In life as a defense manufacturer in the mid 22nd century. It's a trans government. What's that mean? I feel really dumb. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna look it up. Do you think Google will tell me what the trans scope is? No, it's just told me about the governor that's trans. <laughs> that's not, that doesn't help me. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing it's like, it's a large multi-corporation that is also considered like its own. Um, government entity. Like, it's not necessarily a country because they're spread all over the place. But it has, like, the authority and power that the country would hold. Kind of like, um, uh, Syndicate. The mega corporations in the game Syndicate. In the, I guess mega corporations in a lot of, like, future sci-fi movies and stuff like that. I don't know. Does Deus Ex? I think Deus Ex has a couple like that. I'm not sure. Yeah, during the expansion on terrorists supplied arms to all sides. For Pearson's learned that violence is most profitable when conducted between customers rather than employees. Interesting. I got a blueprint for something. Oh, it's for the bed. Where is that? Down here? Yeah, miscellaneous. Okay. Great. E. Poster over there. I want to drink another water. <laughs> Take it. Oh, and another PDA. All right, I'm gonna look at that PDA after I find. Uh, there's another one that goes along with that one. That I want to find first. And reading the other one first will make. 
that one make more sense. I hope I explained that correctly. Okay, and you can't go in there. I don't think. I grabbed all the PDAs, right? In here? Yeah, okay. I think I got all the ones in here, too. Oh, um, okay. Whoop, codes. 1869. Yeah, this is the one I was looking for. Uh, responsible autonomous relationships. All the good things in life are commodities. We trade love just as we buy and sell stock. We engage in human relationships when there is a fair exchange of value. Support, motivation, affection. Nothing good is ever free. If every physical good in the Federation came from a single supplier, it would constitute a dangerous monopoly. Personal relationships are the same. It is important for people to get what they need from multiple sources. If a person finds a better source of the goods they require, they are not wronging their original supplier by changing their purchasing arrangements. If one member of a relationship should feel threatened or jealous, they must look at their own business model and ask whether it is performing competitively. There is always room for improvement. So basically what this is saying is that uh, you trade... You treat relationships as like objects that you like buy and sell and trade. So it's just like if you're with someone, it's like you're not breaking up with them. It's just like they're not offering you satisfactory goods, which is why you're going to be with someone else. So in this sense, it's like having multiple relationships with multiple people at once would be considered fine. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> so that relates to um, this one, which has voice acting. So. Listen, I know I don't have the right to make demands of you, but I need you to understand that I want to change our arrangement. I hear what you're saying, and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change it? I would like to reduce our contact hours. How much further can we do that? To zero. You're dumping me. How is it still a relationship if we don't see each other? It's a relationship of a kind. What is our expectation? I feel you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. That's not a feeling. It's a judgment. And I feel hostility in what you're saying. Perhaps your jealousy is a sign that you need to take another look at your business model. Why can't you just be happy for me? I am happy for you. And I'm happy for all the guys in the prawn bay. I'm just not happy for me. This is why I want to change our arrangement. It's just like, damn. <laughs> it's so... Oh, God. It's so weird to say, like, relationships as arrangements. I don't know. Uh, I'm at the ball cap too. <laughs> I keep like drinking water every time I want to make room for more stuff in my inventory. <laughs> All right, there we go. Acquired. All right, there we go. Um, did I go in here? No, I didn't. Ooh, there's a. Do I have that poster already? Prawn suit poster land. Yeah, okay, I already have that poster, so we can leave that one there. Um, I don't see anything of value in here, so I guess we'll leave. And I don't have the code for the captain's quarter yet, so we can't go in there. And cabin 2 doesn't open. Which is fine. Alright, so we got everything from 
here. Right? 11 quarters. Yep. So I'll just be on my way. We got more stuff to explore. And I'm gonna want. Um, actually, I'm gonna want the flashlight real quick. Because we have to do some weird uh, maneuver maneuverability. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. <laughs> we have to swim through a bunch of pipes. <laughs> And, uh, there's a hole that we need to go through on the ceiling. Here it is. There we go. Okay, is there anything up here? Nope. Just we'll go down. Uh... Alright, so that's the energy pulse, so the thing that, uh, hit our ship and made us crash. Came from over there. You guys probably already know what hit us. If you've seen other people play this game, or played it yourself, or seen any sci-fi movie involving spaceships and shit. You guys know. It ain't that hard to figure out what it was. Okay, so lab access. Okay, black box. Data initiated slingshot maneuver around the planet. High velocity energy pulse launch detected on planet surface. En emergency distress signal sent to Altera listening buoy. Impact detected, life polyp base on starboard side, compromise, outgoing communications, compromise, emergency evacuation initiated, manual pil piloting transfer to Captain Hollister, life pods 1 through 25 launch successfully, terrain, planetary atmosphere, massive impact register, drive core shield compromise. Then she pulse matched no known planetary defense technologies. Pulse's site of origin has been calculated and downloaded. Distress signal broadcast successfully. Damage relay prevents further outgoing communications. A terror HQ rescue solution received at T plus 8 hours to high priority terminal in captain's quarters. Alright. Okay, I need to go get air real quick. Uh, uh, I'm gonna turn off the energy pulse signal. Until we're ready to go over there. Okay, what was lab access again? Six four eight three. Six four eight three. There we go. Um So I think that means I have like new blueprints I can make that I just like auto added. Right? No? Maybe. Yeah. Take this PDA. See, this stuff's non-functional, but, like, you can actually use it for anything in the game anyway. So, I kind of just generally collect it for decorating purposes. But I think I have too much stuff to store any of it. Yeah, I'd have to drop something. Let's drop the flares. I don't care about the flares. I'm taking the microscope. <laughs> At the very least. I think you can find the other stuff, like, on, um, wrecks and bases people have made.
Let me up, let me up. Thank you. Can't go through that door. Right, no. Uh, fire extinguisher. Okay, this leads up to the surface, and if I had a propulsion or repulsion cannon, I could get out through there, but I don't have one of those. So I pretty much have to go back the way I came. I grabbed everything from here anyway, so... The only place left to go is um, where the drive core is. So we need to go there and repair it, and then... Um, that I'll get rid of the radioactivity around the ship. So then, after a couple of days, we won't have to wear the radiation suit anymore when coming near the Aurora. And we got everything from the living quarters, except for the stuff in, um, the captain's room, but we don't have the code for there yet, so we can't go there anyway. So once we fix the drive core, we'll be done with the ship for now. Alright, so basically I have to go around and fix all these little breaches. How many are there usually? Ten? Eleven. Okay. Here. Two left. I think they're over this way. Yep. Okay, and I don't think that module has anything on it, so... Yeah, we're done here. <laughs> we can leave now. I'm gonna save real quick. There we go.
right, time to go. Mark our escape pod back. Cause I have to go there and drop stuff off. I'm gonna pause real quick because there's the theme I want to do real quick. Do, 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 do. Posted those really late, but whatever. Yeah, I expect them to help. Like, I need to remember that, like, I use social media sites and that I could be posting links to my live stream in the hopes of getting more people to watch. And it's like, I never do that. I always forget. <laughs> I'll go until I'll set an alarm on my phone. Let's pause real quick. I'm going until ten thirty and then I'm calling it quits. Cause right now it's just been me playing this game and talking to myself. That's all it's been. And while I do enjoy my game, I mean I don't mind talking to myself. Cause I've ha I have like very little friends. It's been most of my time alone. That's kind of a trait I've developed anyway. Is making comments to myself. <laughs> um, yeah, it doesn't really work out that well when you're streaming. To like not have an audience, <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll start building my base. I think it's what I should be doing. My next activity. 
building a base. I'll uh, store a bunch of stuff that I don't need right now, and then I'll build my base. So, uh, the gold. Basically, all the stuff I collected for decorations. Well, I need to trade some things for other things, too. Okay. So we can't go to Life Pond 12, because we don't have a submarine yet. Um... Store that stuff. All right. Ooh, start. And then I need to put you in slot four. Uh, I need to take the stuff that I use to build my base. So titanium and uh, lead. That's the starting materials. But I also need to find that one island. Uh, the. I forgot what it's called. The floating island? Is that it? Like, I can start building, um. Like the base support for it, the foundation, but I can't build the rooms yet. But I need to find a good spot to do that, so I'm gonna... Trying to find an area where three of the biomes meet, so like the blood grass, and then creep vines, and then one other. Either the mushroom forest or um, the deep sea. Either one of those will work. But I kind of want to be somewhere where there's three biomes at once, kind of meeting. This is still creep vine. This is a lot of creep vine. Okay, that's that island. Cheats, okay, these are the floating islands. There's creep bend right here. I'm gonna come in and find uh I think these kind of intermingle with blood grass over this way. Oh, 
hopefully. Yeah, this is bloodgrass right here. All right, so I'm gonna build my base over here, my first base, because it's kind of where all three meet, and um. Yeah, let's try to find a nice spot to build. Maybe right here? So I'll just start by making like foundations and stuff. And then I'll put a beacon down so I can locate this again. I was only able to make one foundation, that's fine. Yeah, I'll put a um, beacon down right here, or next to this. And let's name you Alpha Base. Alright, so that's where my first base will be. I'm gonna change the color of it to signal to orange. I'll hide you for right now because I don't have building materials. And I'm gonna go try and find that one island. Um, or mm, maybe not the island. I'm going to try to find, um, fragments for the mobile vehicle bay. Is that what it's called? Yeah. So I can build the sea moth and then I'll go find the island. And then I'll also go be able to go get that, um, life pod. I have to be careful not to go down too far. Otherwise I won't be able to make it back up to the surface on time. And it will drown. Which is bad. Looking for uh, fragments. Oh, yeah, here's the mushroom forest. So, my base. Yeah, I don't think it's actually pretty close to a fair number of uh, biomes. Which is super nice. I'm gonna, I'm still gonna label them just in case. Just so I know where exactly to go, so... Stick you over here. Name you... Mushroom... Forest... There we go. And we'll change you to green. And we'll turn you off because I don't need you right now. I love it when people say be right back and then never come back. Like, yeah, that totally boosts my confidence. <laughs> totally makes me feel good. Shit. Oh, get on my way. Mushroom tree. Ok. 
Go! Swim! Swim! Don't drown. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> that was close. Uh. <laughs> I almost died. Now, generally, there's at least one wreck here. I'm trying to find it. I need to find more blueprints. I need the mobile view, the mobile vehicle base, so I can make the sea moth, the little sub, and then maybe the, the moon pool is not necessary until we build the base, but uh, having the fragments for it like collected already would be nice. <laughs> Again, people showing up for 30 seconds and leaving. Oh, and here's the Okay, this is blood kelp. Grab squids. Should we go scan one? Let's try to go scan a crab squid. They're really angry though when you get close to them. They're really aggressive, so it's might be a bad idea. Just keep swimming in circles. Go! <laughs> uh crab squids. Still up for me? No? Okay, good. Oh shit, does that did that look like an island to you guys? Does that look like an island to you guys? Like there's clouds around an island? Let's go that way. <laughs> Let's save. And then go that way. Cause you never know if something will eat us. You just you never know. Oh there is a wreck. I knew it. It swam like right past it, I guess. Okay, we'll check out this first and then go <laughs> that way. Uh Shit, no, that was fuck three. Or the list cutter. Notification station. I don't need you. I mean you're useful, but I don't need you. You're not what I need. Is there an entrance? There is. I'm gonna go for air super quick. I'm gonna come back. I think that might be the island. There's like two big islands in the game. The one the mountains that we were at that had that large alien structure building on it. And then there's uh, another one called the floating island which has a bunch of plants on it. And some bases built by uh, people who crashed here before us. the members of the Degasi, I should say. Is that it? Is that all that's in here? No, there's the store. Oh god, I don't think I can actually go through the store though. I don't think that led me anywhere. There's the store over here too. That door doesn't open.
Okay, I'm not gonna... Sh I'm not gonna go super far, because I don't want to get lost and confused about where I have been. And like, which way's up, and so on and so forth. Because if that happens, then I could get stuck and then drown. Which nobody wants. surface. I'm going to save. And then I'm just going to swim this way until I hopefully reach an island. And I'm not going to look down because it's scary. <laughs> well, right now it's fine, but I can see the, cause I can see the bottom, but uh, once you start getting out there in certain areas of the game, uh, you look down and you don't see anything. There's like, you can't see the bottom of the water. <laughs> like the actual ocean. And then it becomes scary. But I think I'm swimming the right direction. I don't know if I'm swimming the wrong way or not when I get, like, depending on if I get eaten by something or not. So I'll probably save again, um, right over here. Like, while well, I'm still kind of in the shallows. I'll save again. So that way I'm a little bit closer to my base, or the life pod, and also, uh, yeah. We're just gonna go. We'll stay slightly underwater, because that way we'll be able to hear if the leviathan's here or not. If you hear a leviathan, we are going the wrong way. Please be in the island. Please be going the right way. Please be an island in this direction. Okay, that's a reflect. It scared me. I don't like it. I want things like up here. Look at that. Oh my god, okay. I'm going the right way. Okay, we're not gonna die. We're not gonna get eaten by a leviathan. Okay, good. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so dangerous. I don't have the sub yet. <laughs> so this was, a, uh, Yeah. Kind of dumb. <laughs> but I did it. I found the island, so... Should be good. Yeah, because if you look down, <laughs> uh, you see nothing. It's terrifying. The ocean's scary. <laughs> I mean, I love the ocean, but yeah, it's scary. <laughs> um, let's see. I need a good place to get on land. Over here, maybe? Yeah, right here. Sweet. So now we can explore. Um, okay. And, um, this island has plants you can. God damn it, 
you can collect, so I'm gonna try to collect them now and not have to come back here ever again. I'm also gonna kill all the fucking cave crawlers because they're a pain in the ass. Get back here. And then scan everything. <laughs> All right. Take in you. I accidentally took two. I really only need one seed of each of these. All right. Um. Yeah, yeah, I know. There. Take one of you. It's starting to get dark out. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, no. Don't fall into the water. There's an abandoned base up there. And, oh, yeah. That one right there. So we'll check those out while we're here. I mean, I need to check them out anyway so I can uh, scan the rooms in order to build my base. Inventory full. Are you serious? Uh, it's because of the radiation helmet. It's because of all the batteries, too. Uh, drop these. Drop the empty batteries, I guess. Drop the fire extinguishers. I don't need them anymore. Crawlers, get the fuck out of here, you piece of shit. the batteries. Only keep one. I'm taking up marble and seed. I only need one. There. There my inventory is full. Not the purple tablet though, and I want it. Um, you need a nutrition block. <laughs> Why can I not? I can't pick up this PDA. 
Oh, there it was for a second. God damn it, come on. I want the PDA. Damn you, cave crawler, you're in my way. <laughs> I'm not leaving until I can pick it up. It's always. Oh my god. Okay, come on. There we go. Alright, so, like, let's see. Uh, the last place I have to go are the ones all the way up there. Those spaces. So, here I go, I guess. Post Gussie Habitat. Okay. Can I skin these? No? Okay. Ow! Ah. Get stuck on the plants. No. Okay, that leads to a dead end. Where does this go? It's up the mountain. Good. Stop getting stuck on stuff. I already have a potato plant in the marble melon. I think there's like one more plant I may have not gotten. Well, uh. We'll listen to all the PDAs once I get back to the life pod, I guess. <laughs> yeah, because I won't have the materials to build um, my base once I get off this island, anyway. So we'll have to stop by the life pod first and store some stuff and then uh, collect some materials to build our base. My inventory is full, so I can't collect the last plant unless I drop a bunch of stuff. I need to get rid of four things. I could drop the radiation helmet. Uh. 
But then if I want it back, I'd have to rebuild the radiation suit. These you can find on that other island too. I think the same goes for the bubble tree, so we'll get rid of that. Why is that room right? Okay, I'm gonna take this water and drink it first, and then, uh. Here, two left. I'll re pick up, um. This pickled rattler, and, uh. There's a pink one. A pink, like, um. Mushroom looking thing that I didn't pick up. So we'll collect one of those as well. Okay, now there should be like a lagoon somewhere. I think on this side. Yeah, there's this lagoon here. I'm gonna get down to that. I think there's um, information or a PDA down there. Yeah, they're called pink caps. Okay. So actually, ooh, there are more grow beds over here. Look at this. So whoever, yeah, the people that were living here um, seem to be doing all right. We're gonna just boop. And then, uh, there's an entrance to the lagoon. Right here. And I think, I don't know if the PD will be here or not. We'll have to check. It's either already, okay, it's already here. I was gonna say, it's either already gonna be here or it's not gonna spawn until we get the radio signal for it. <laughs> Sorry. Bless me. All that. I also didn't mean to cut off the sound by pausing. <laughs> Alright, so we got everything here except for like one plant, but it's like a plant that I think also grows on the other island we need to go to for stuff, so leave it. I'm gonna swim this way a little bit because being directly behind the aurora is bad um, because the leviathans at least one of the types of leviathan likes to hang out over there and I don't want to deal with that I will die So yeah, we shouldn't have to go back to that island like ever again. Hopefully. <laughs> Which is why well I don't even think I'm carrying any more beacons. I'm not. Yeah, but that's why like even if I had a beacon I wouldn't mark it. Cause usually if you have enough storage space the island's kind of like one and done. You collect everything off of it, and then you never have to go back. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here. Life pod. Uh, store. Some things. Oh, I mean, through space is available. Um, what about in the life pod? 
Which storage do I have in here? None. Hmm. How much room do I have? Five. I need like one more. So actually, I might leave and build a third blocker. Okay, you've only been collecting fish. Get out of here. Sit you over, um... Sit you over here. Probably still only gonna collect fish, but oh no, you picked up a titanium. That's what I need. Okay, if I can find one thing of salvage, I'll be okay. Pad. Is that name of less? Okay, no one in the locker. I'm not going to listen to the radio beacon until. I have my own radio in my own base. So I'll store these. These are all food items. I can't store them anymore. Um. You know what, guys? I think it's we're at the point where I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna like add resources to my inventory and just start getting on with the game. Because if I spend my entire time like running around collecting resources, we're not gonna get anywhere anytime soon. So I'm basically gonna spawn resources enough so like I can build my base and put stuff in it. And then yeah.
go. Okay, and then we want to make a hatch so we can enter the base. And then quartz and copper. All right, now I'm gonna figure out where I wanna put all the other rooms. So, let's have like another room. Can't. Oops. It's okay, we'll have these two be close together then. So we'll build one this way. Nope, six. And titanium six. Corridor. Go inside. Um, okay. table coral. Hopefully there's some growing on these guys. Well, there'll be some, okay, there'll be some over here, I think. Hopefully. I don't want to have to go too far away to find table coral. Okay, 
And like table coral is one of those weird things to spawn in because uh, in the console commands you don't type in table coral, you type in something else and I always forget what that is. What? No! Trying to find table coral. Like pot three. Or anyone in you. I collect a bunch of it while I'm here so I don't have to come back. Where'd they go? I don't know where that went. I don't want to have to come back here so give me all of this. Thank you. I don't have to swim back to my base. Yeah, I know. been gone again. Always. It's like what you noticed there's no other viewers so you decided that I must be extremely terrible and left or what I'm not screaming and yelling and shouting and controlling so you left like I don't understand. <laughs> What compels people to like stick around to watch and like like I don't understand the people that like show up for like I guess two seconds and then leave I should say All right, I'm gonna put the uh, lockers where's the entrance that's the entrance right Put lockers on these two, but I want to reinforce these two walls before I do that. I'll check the radio in a second. 27. What? Frank, what are you talking about? What is this? Why do I- Why am I getting Steam messages? That you guys probably can't see. What would you want in exchange for a 27 bonus necklace? I don't even think I have. <laughs> 27 bone shackles. I don't even think I have that. I 
I don't know what that means. I don't know what are bone shackles used for. I haven't played Dark Souls or in a while. God, it's freak. It's so fucking random. I don't think you guys can see that, but uh, yeah, I was getting Steam messages and pulled up the overlay. Oh, she can or whatever. Oh, okay, she's just someone like her so. Give me a minute. Alright guys, this is about to go from a Subnautica stream to... Uh, well, actually this is gonna be me ending the Subnautica stream. Okay, yeah, because my friend Frank uh, apparently needs my help collecting stuff in Dark Souls 3. And my help, he needs to kill me 27 times <laughs> to like dumb vertebrae bones or shackles or whatever the fuck you call them. So, yeah, uh, thank you guys who stopped by for checking out my stream. And um, I think I'll stream this again. Maybe Monday? Maybe. I don't know about doing it tomorrow, but I'll do it. I'll stream this again someday. So, yeah. Just don't know what day. So yeah, thanks again. I'll see you all later. And I think I'll also put a straw poll. I'm gonna go back to the thing. Tell the ball about her. Okay, Frank. Um... <laughs> I'll put it- I'm gonna put her like a straw poll in my uh, little comment section underneath my- where the video shows in Twitch. I don't know what you call that. Um, to see whether people want to just see random game playthroughs of whatever I feel like playing. Or if they want me to continue series that I started but never finished on stream. So that would be um, Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisen. Uh, Deadly Premonition, and Stalker Clear Sky, or is it Clear Skies? I'm not sure. But yeah, those are the three games like I started. Kind of as playthroughs and never finished. I might start up Dragon's Dogma again, I really enjoyed that. The thing about Dragon's Dogma though is like in order to show everything I'd have to play through the game completely twice. Because um, the DLC area the Dark Arisen DLC stuff, like the island you go to, is really difficult to get through. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Anyway, thanks again for checking out my stream. Um, if you find this on YouTube and manage to watch more than like two minutes of it, thank you for checking it out. Even if you have it on like your TV or phone or whatever, it's like background noise things. And, uh, yeah, I s guess I'll see you guys later. Bye.